Hey y'all, welcome back my little ravens for another episode of the Hartfords. And if you are new to the channel, thanks for joining. My name is Simmer Misty, and so without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. We are picking right up where we left off and as you can see she is still reading up on some vampirism he is just playing with this little guy here and they seem to be having quite a good time might i add <laughs> blair's like i'd be having an even better time if you give me some pizza he's like how about some animal crackers doesn't that sound like a plan he's like well I mean, no, but it's what you're going to give me, so shit. I'll eat it. And as you can see, I am just going to go ahead and once again, we're going to try to get our realtor to come on over. I really, really need to get this moving along. So we're going to invite him over. We're going to see if we can get him to come to the house, show us our listings. I know it, it's been a couple of days, and when he left the house, he said it would be a couple of days, and he would have some listings for us, so that's the plan. You, sweet girl, get out of your pajamas, get yourself ready, clean up the green coffee that you got going on there that everyone's bitching about, and get yourself ready for the day. We need to, to get the realtor over and find out about the house. What, you're going to sit down a coffee and make it worse? Yeah, exactly. No one wants to clean it up, but everybody wants to complain about it. Okay. I see how this is working out. I'm not cleaning it up. Y'all can clean it up. Meanwhile, you guys are all sitting there like, you know Misty's going to clean it up, right? I'm not, guys. I'm not doing it. I don't think I do it. I really don't think I'd do it, y'all. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to make them do it. Get yourself ready. We have a realtor that needs to be coming to the house. Are you going to come clean it up? I've queued it for her to clean it up. Is she going to come do it? Kiara, come clean up your house. See? There. I told y'all I wasn't going to do it. It's great. She did it. It's even better. All right, now, she's downstairs, she's cleaning up the house, thank God, because there was sh laying everywhere. Watch her just throw that damn pile of trash in the middle of the floor. No, I'm just kidding, she doesn't. <laughs> but that would be hilarious if she had, because then I'd end up having to clean it up. <laughs> All right, come on now, give him a call, ring him up, tell him to come on over. She's like, no, I have to wash my hands. That was disgusting. Yeah, well, it was disgusting because y'all are disgusting. You just leave your crap lying all around the house. Learn how to pick up after yourselves. You don't own a maid. Okay, so she is upstairs. And she's trying to comfort Blair. He's upset. And she's like, why are you so sad? Do you want to play for a little while? And he's like, yeah, mommy, I want to play. She's like, okay, let's play for a little while. Meanwhile... I'm sitting here going, you've got to get ready. The realtor is on his way. They don't care. Nobody in this house listens to me. Nobody cares. <clears throat> you know what's going to happen? He's going to show up and she's going to be in her damn pajamas. All right, so we got two days until Blair ages up. You've got to be moved out in two days. Kiara, this is seriousness. This is serious business. Okay. I think he's here. So, we need to check our home listings. Jules is just in the bathroom giving himself a pep talk. I have no idea how Bonnie's sleeping through all this. Oh, she's not. She's just laying there like... They're obnoxious. Alright, now are you inviting him over? She's like, do you think you could come over and we could discuss house listings because I'm running out of time? 
Yeah, I need to be moved within the next 48 hours. She's like, yes, he's on his way. Perfect, get clothes on. You cannot stay in what you're wearing. You want to be playing it with again? Playing with you takes forever. Okay, we're changed, right? Change your clothes. Come on, do it. Nope, she's going to play again. I can't win for losing. All right, here they go again. <laughs> they are just the cutest bloody thing. But I mean, like, oh, she's never going to get dressed. He's going to show up and she's going to be in her pajamas. And for whatever reason, it's winter. Like the dead of winter. It's been snowing and better. And they don't have the thermostat on warm. So I've turned the thermostat on because they need the heat on. Like, oh, thank God. All right, is, is he here yet? Because that is important information to have. Is he here? Kira. She's like, no, he's not. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to potty train. No, we're not. You're not. You're busy. Jules can come up and potty train Blair. It is fine. You are going to go greet our realtor who has just shown up. And we're going to find out about the house listings. That way we can set an appointment to go view them. Get your little butt downstairs. Go on. Get down there. He's done. Let himself in our house. Like, Jesus. He... You'd think he knows us or something. We met one time and he's just letting himself in. He didn't knock or nothing. Look, Blair's like, I will introduce or I will say hello. Welcome to the house. No, Blair, we don't need you to do that. I will go and greet him. Blair, you just go play. Where the hell do you... What are you... What in the bloody hell is going on? Why is my realtor naked in my house? That... No. You're naked and I have a baby downstairs and a baby upstairs. And you... No. I'm sorry. This is unacceptable. Look at Jules. is like, come on. Your mommy's going to handle this. And she's like, what in the actual F is your problem? No, absolutely not. You're fired. Please leave. Please, please excuse me when I tell you that is disgusting and uncalled for and unprofessional and the most disgusting thing that I've ever been privy to. Get your naked ass out of my house right away. And what does he say? Oh, I'm sorry it turned out this way. Please don't forget my number. Please, really, don't forget my number. Oh, I done forgot it, okay? We done forgot your number a long time ago. The nerve of some people. Now we have to hire ourselves a new realtor and start all over again from scratch. And we only got two days to do it. Arr. Okay, I'm going to hire this guy. He's got the most experience. He's like, yay, okay, come over and we'll tell you what we want. And then we can wait the two more days for you to tell us about some listings. Like, we're not going to be able to move before she ages up. And I'm frustrated all because that bozo couldn't keep his pants on. I'm so mad, just madder than a wet hornet. Somebody take care of Bonnie. She's like, I'm on it, Misty. Quit yelling. Well, this is ridiculous. All I wanted to do was get you guys in a better home, just like you wanted. And that guy just... Uh, clearly, he was reading the wrong signals. Jesus. Who walks into someone's house... Strips down naked and goes to go upstairs to their bedroom to self woohoo when he's trying to sell you a house. I'm sorry, but that is the wrong kind of commission. It just is. This is not okay. Put your clothes on. There's just extremely too much skin in this episode. Yeah, she's agreeing. 
She's like, do you think you could come over? Your coworker uh-huh. was naked, and I had to fire yes. him. And he's like, he was what? Samara. Yeah, you heard me right. He was naked. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And here we got Bess, who's wanting to meet up with Jules. Get a clue, Bess. It's not happening. Move on. You know what? This episode, I... It's testing my patience, y'all. It's testing my patience. Look at this wholesome family that's being corrupted by all this nonsense. We got a naked realtor, an ex-girlfriend that just won't let go. Like, the girl is obsessive. And we've got just... uh, Vampire baby and non-vampire baby. summer holiday showing up for what reason nobody knows i don't know but come on in we don't even know you we've never even met Uh but that's fine actually maybe they went to school together but i mean do you know how long they've been out of school a hot minute okay like a hot minute but that's fine. You can come on in. You, I don't think she's even here to see Kiera. I think she's here to see Jules. Everybody likes Jules. Oh, look, our new realtor is here. Lord, please let this be better. Okay, we're going to... He looks professional. He's got on himself a suit. He looks very, you know, kept and nice, friendly and knowledgeable. Very friendly introduction. He's very prepared. He's got all of our notes. He already knows exactly what we want. He's like, I got your information from the colleague that you had to fire, who, by the way, has been fired. Thank God for small miracles. He's like, I am so terribly sorry that that happened, and that is so not how we like to run things over at the firm. But we do have all of your information. We know how much you'd like to spend. We know where you'd like to live. We also know what traits you'd like. And as soon as you would like to give us the go-ahead, I will absolutely, immediately go ahead and get started looking for you. She's like, this, this is the professional kind that I wanted. This is the professionalism I expected. I absolutely, you want to exercise right now? And he's like, I'm sorry, just the adrenaline from the excitement it just it made me happy and she's like i'm feeling pretty pretty uh good myself but i'm not gonna do push-ups i'm just gonna tell you i am very very thrilled with the fact that you're competent and i trust that this is in your hands please do know that i'm under a deadline and if you could get to working on this right away he's like absolutely meanwhile she's come up here because she doesn't trust summer with Jules. And as soon as she comes up, Summer leaves the room. And then Jules leaves the room. D- does that seem suspicious to you? <laughs> does to me. Am I cynical? Possibly. But, you know, today's been a little bit of an odd day. We've got weird shit going on, okay? I don't understand this house right now. I'm worried about everything that's going on. She's just going to play with some dolls with her son and try to calm down. I'm just going to watch her play dolls with her son and try to calm down myself. And she's just prissing around the house. Kara's like, all right, that's fine. Two can play this game. You watch this little there, Missy. I don't know what your game is, but I got him hook, line, and sinker because we're soulmates. I got his baby. We're raising two children together, and we're in love. You don't got shit on me. Lord, at the girl drama. This ain't a series without it. Especially ain't the Hartford series without it. There ain't nothing but drama in this series. Holy moly. Basically, she's just showing out is what she's doing. Our realtor um, appointment, because we've done everything we can do. And he's like, ma'am, I'm absolutely going to go ahead and get to work. Clearly, you and your husband need a minute because you're excited about this news. This is I am excited to find you 
the home that you want and I will get right to work. And she's like, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. <laughs> and then they're right back at it again. She's like, Jules, you complete me and you make my life whole. And I don't know what I would do without you by my side. And I love you more than life itself. He's like, oh, Kira, sweetheart, you're my whole world too. She's like, awesome, could you get rid of that blonde hussy? <laughs> she did not say that. She might have said that. Oh. <clears throat> She probably didn't, but just keep watching because the drama unfolds, okay? Says, Jules begins to bite his lips in a suggestive manner. Their eyes stare intensely into Kiera's. Kiera, dear, there's nothing that I would love more than you right now. Come here, you. It's not... Let's not waste another moment. Of course, that's what she's going to say. You're kissing my neck and grabbing my leg, pushing me backwards into your bed. Baby, you are all I need. But I don't want to dive too deep, too deep. I can feel that. All right, they've officially made her leave, so she's gone now, and there you go. And so now we are just dealing with the fact that they're finishing that whole thing um <clears throat> i am going to go ahead and let blair go ahead and play with this little doll over here so he's just gonna go talk to this little doll and <clears throat> look at that cat i tell you what dixie and i have a love-hate relationship in the not so berry Dusty and I have a love-hate relationship. Are you seeing a pattern? I have yet to find a dog or a cat that I just have a love relationship with. One that doesn't have a hate part also thrown in. And I would love to have that, but there's that. So at this present moment, we are basically just waiting again, playing the waiting game for our realtor that we have had to now newly hire to find us our homes. So once he finds us some listings, he will let us know that information so that we can then go see the homes that have been chosen for us and then pick out of the homes that were chosen so that we can actually move somewhere. So we are waiting. In the interim, we are probably down to like, I don't know, a day and a half, maybe two days still. I, I can't really recall at the top of my head and I haven't looked at the calendar, but we are getting very, very close to Bonnie's birthday. And I, to be completely honest, am not quite sure if we're going to make it or not. But what I can tell you is if we do not make the move prior to her actually aging up then I guess we're just moving with two toddlers which is going to be a huge pain in the ass but people do it all the time I just didn't really want to I wanted to have everything set up and then she would age up into her new brand new toddler bedroom that's kind of what well, I wanted so for her doofish. but whatever it is what it is so there's that Warba quest and I love you guys both very, very much, Jules and Kiera. But if what you just did to get rid of that blonde headed hussy, as you put it, Kiera, made you with child again, me and you are going to have some serious. What are you doing? Oh, no. Guys, do you see this nonsense? They've decided to do it again. Oh. Oh, no. I think we're going to end up pregnant. Okay, I can't. This episode has been too much. I can't. Okay. 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 Okay, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. Don't forget to like, share, comment. It does help out the channel and also allows you... <laughs> I can't even... I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just, does has not used protection. Yeah, no shit. All right. Um, what was I saying? 
uh, yeah, don't forget. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It does let you know when a new episode goes live. Um, I would love to have you guys be a part of the Raven family. And I am going to go ahead and fly for now. So I will see you guys in the next one. Pray for me. Bye, y'all.